generous saying, if you want to hide anything, put it in a book. <laughs> and they said, again, to a Nigerian or to a black man, just fix it in a book. But it's not as bad as that. I belong to several uh, reading clubs and book clubs. I feel Nigerians will still read, especially in these days of um, having access to a WhatsApp, Facebook, and alternatives to the book itself, e-versions of books mm -hmm. to read our books. We're being compelled by the ICT, our current to drive to read. So even if you move around at times, I watch people when I go out busy with their phones, not most times talking to people. They're just busy looking at news headlines, busy. We, we isolate ourselves these days until, hey, friend, talk to me. He said, no, I'm reading news line. So I love writing a lot. Mm -hmm. Writing is one of my hobbies. I have over 100 publications. I have over 500 poems. I remember during COVID, I wrote about 25 books in COVID. I did collection of poems on COVID itself because we were stuck to stay in. So you will now be a friend to yourself. Mm. Your work is in you. <laughs> you your thoughts and papers. So when we also had this invitation on a constitution review, when Muhammadu Buhari's government said they were not going to work on Good Luck Ebele Jonathan's restructuring, they would rather constitution reveal to uh, improve on, Niger on Nigeria political system. I remember doing about 35 positional papers on constitution review, about 12 women, about 12 for the Christians, about 12 for, for peace advocacy. So I did a lot of writing, published them, we moved them to the House of Assembly. We I think they were asking us for 75 copies of each. And a few of my friends just saw my heap in bags and like that. Even I embarrassed them at the House of Assembly, they were just like, Madam, can you go bind them? <laughs> we don't want to see each of them. Can you give us as booklets? You know? My book on Jonathan Sambo Presidency, uh, 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 a symbol of peace, unity, and progress, forward by General Gowen, was my contribution to how I perceived the presidency of Jonathan, who happens to be a colleague of mine in the same in the university. Are you in school together? Not really. Okay. We lectured together. Okay. Where I currently lecture is Ignatius Ajuru University of Education, mm -hmm. and it was it was formerly. Um, River State College of Education mm -hmm. and that was where President Jonathan lectured for 10 years and that was where patients Jonathan actually had are in C2 so it is just like my colleague in power and a loving colleague to a quiet guy that we even never knew so we had that collection of uh, 12 uh, chapters on Jonathan Sambo presidency and I think my own chapter was on his an analysis of his agenda and then an analysis of some of his speeches, a collection of speeches of Good Luck Jonathan and by the time I took them to then uh, Professor Koji in charge of um, NUC and he saw the copies of the book, he was just like, wow, this is going to every university in Nigeria, this is going to every library in Nigeria, you have done a, an awesome work, and this is what we're expecting from all other lecturers to always contribute to uh, national development, not just sitting at the ivory towers in the quietness of the classroom. And I. I think exactly. That was why the National Association of Nigerian Students also gave me the 2019 endorsement for President